more. So when insulin comes down, one of the other one of the many effects in the body is that another hormone comes down called aldosterone, which is one we've never invoked yet. But low insulin leads to lower aldosterone. When aldosterone comes down, the kidneys become much uh, begin to eliminate salt and water much more rapidly. Now that's not problematic, but it does mean that a person does have to focus more on hydration and salts. So if someone's going on this strategy and they exercise fairly often, <clears throat> you need to be much more focused on your hydration, literally drinking more because you will be urinating more, which is partly why you, people's blood pressure gets so good so quickly. And just to pause on that point, there if, if someone is on one or two blood pressure medications and they adopt a ketogenic diet, they usually have to stop their medications within two days because their blood pressure goes to normal so quickly that if they stay on the medication, they're going too low. So one could be that you were actually working out a little less intensely because of the dehydration. But then two, it's possible that you were eating too few calories to actually maintain muscle. Muscle is a hungry organ. It is metabolically expensive for the body to keep that muscle on. And as you start to get leaner and leaner, it gets harder and harder for the body to defend that muscle. In fact, that's the difference between fasting and starvation. The longest known evidence of a fast was a man in the UK who fasted for 384 days.